What's up? I'm trying kind of an artsy shot here, because, I don't know, try something new. So, let's see, what can we talk about? Well, the Giants won the Super Bowl. I don't follow football, so I don't care. Um, I didn't watch it, like everyone else, for the commercials. Um, but I did get into the last, like, minute into it, because it was kind of, like, really close, and both teams were, like, so close in the points and stuff, and, yeah. And so I got kind of into that. Um, my favorite commercial was probably the, uh, Justin Timberlake one. That was kind of funny, because he got his nuts hit, like, three times, so that was kind of funny. And, um... Oh, the Will Ferrell one, where the Bud Light, where he's like, Bud Light, suck one. That one's just funny. And, uh, that's it. Okay, enough of that. Um, I appear to be living in a time paradox. I don't know why, I don't know what's going on, and I will explain. Presently down here, I have one, two, three, I have four clocks plus my watch and my cell phone. And then there's, I think I count, yeah, one, two, four. That's six altogether. Now, I tend to believe my cell phone because it's the one, it's the, it's, it, the, the time fixes itself based on where you're at in the world. Like when I go to Indianapolis, it changes automatically to an hour ahead. And when I come back, it ch changes back. So I have to believe my cell phone is the right one. So my cell phone says it's 12.59 right now. My watch says it's 12.58. Now check this shit out. My VCR says 12.56. It says 1 a.m. See, okay. So, so far, my cell phone and my computer is lined up perfectly. My VCR says 12.57. Okay, now. Okay. That is one of my alarm clocks. See, that one doesn't work no more. It doesn't beep, beep, beep. But I keep it there to tell me what time it is when I wake up. Now that one I purposely set 10 minutes fast just because it helps me wake up in the morning because I need all the help I can get. So that should say if it's really 1 o'clock, 1.10. But it says 1.12. This, this right here is my actual alarm clock, the one that wakes me up in the morning. That's set for 1.08. Yet again, I set that one 10 minutes to match up with that alarm clock over there. So, all these clocks in my house are set at different times. My VCR is like the one that's way off. It's really 1.02 in the morning. So that one and that one should say it's 112 but it don't and my watch is sort of close so I don't know why all the times around here are all jacked up but I'm gonna try to sequen sequenize it so if the real time is in fact 104 a.m. I'm gonna set my alarm clock for 114 Same with that. What the hell? Okay, that just freaked me out. That was off by like two minutes. Now it says 114, and I haven't even touched it yet. What the hell is going on around here? So the only one left is my VCR. And that one is off by three minutes.
and my watch is off by like 30 seconds. Now I guess in 30 seconds is no big deal. It's just when it's off by minutes and everything gets all fucked up because I wake up, I wake up five minutes later than I really want to, so then I'm like five minutes behind on my morning routine. So that just sucks. So, anyway, yeah, I don't know what the hell's up with that. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go tap on that alarm clock over there and see what the fuck is up with that. That's freaking me out. And fix my VCR clock. Uh, that's it. I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I do realize that Lent is coming up. And if you don't know, I created this whole channel that I'm on right now. Uh, for Lent from last year when I gave up on Pepsi, which is what my screen name was. So now I have an interesting decision. Uh, what should I give up for Lent this year? Uh, my fiance, who's all health conscious, thinks I should give up on all kinds of soda, but I, I hate to sound weird about it, but I really can't. Because that was what I did the first few days. I drank like nothing but like water and juice, and I felt miserable. Like, I felt sick. You know, like I had these headaches, and I just wanted to sleep all the time. I don't know what was up with that. But I don't know I can do that. So, I'm going to think about what I'm going to try to give up next year. Uh, not next, this year, I guess, for Lent. If I do anything at all. That was just like a fun thing I just wanted to do last year. I might not necessarily do it again. Because I'm not a really big religious person. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked this new shot. Even though I probably didn't look at the camera that often. I'm sorry. Here, I'll say my goodbye to the camera. Goodbye, camera! Goodbye!